absolutely amazing. This is when it sucks to be in first class. Before we get into the video, I have a quick sponsored message from Award Wallet who are back supporting me and helping me remain 100% objective. Today, I'm talking about the credit card spend analysis tool. It will help you maximize your spend and help you optimize your strategy going forward. And what I really love about it is how simple it is to use once you've set it up it's all automatic. You'll see exactly how many points you've earned at each merchant. So whether you're spending at British Airways or Airbnb, like you can see I have, it tells you how many points you got and how many additional points you can get. And you'll see a full list of the different card options. And if you have them, it's super easy to just switch over to that one. Or if you notice that there's one place where you're spending a lot of money and you don't have a card that's optimizing spend there, maybe that can help you with your future card application decisions. And just as every other time, if you haven't downloaded them yet, do it at the link at the top of the description and use coupon code NONSTOPDAN. Enjoy your six free months. Get to know all the other awesome features of the service. And thanks again to Word Wallet for sponsoring this video. What is up, travelers? Hello from Kuwait. It's my first time ever in Kuwait City. Unfortunately, only for an overnight this time. I arrived at 10 p.m. yesterday on Qatar, had a night's sleep at a nice uh, airport hotel, and now I'm trying to find my gate. Let's see, gate five. So today I'm trying out British Airways 747 first class for the first time. Oh, this is such a cool background. In the nose of the 747, which will be so cool, everyone has a lot to say about British Airways first class. Ben, at one mile at a time, calls it the world's best business class. Uh, and people say a lot of things along those lines. So I'm very curious to see what it's actually like compared to most other first class products. You guys know I have a rocky relationship with British Airways because uh, I really did not have a good flight in their business class last time I flew it. But you never know, maybe this will be a great trip. I sure hope so. Guys, and the best part is I spoke about this in my British Airways Executive Club uh, guide video that I got such a cheap redemption on this flight. I'm gonna go through it in the end of this video again so that you guys can do the same. Make sure you stay tuned for that and uh, let's see what British Airways first class is like. Here she is, beautiful bird. 747-400. Okay, are you guys ready? Alright guys, welcome on board British Airways 747 First Class in the nose of the plane. Welcome to my seat, this is seat 5K, focus. Um, and we are in the very last row of the cabin as you can see, so let's do a little bit of a seat tour. First, this was something I found actually really cool, check this out, we have a built-in hangar here which can withstand all types of turbulence, some storage, and down here we have room to put our shoes which we'll do after takeoff. Then we have the video monitor here which swivels out somehow. Footrest of course with the headphones waiting there. I also got a glass of water. Uh, we have the first class pajamas which I will definitely enjoy when I'm going to sleep. And the amenity kit from Liberty London, which is really nice. Um, other than that, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll have to try to figure out what all this stuff is. But here we have our remote. This is the seat recline roller, which I find kind of cool. Um, the in-flight magazines are here. The tray table comes up from there. Uh, and yeah, I'm still trying to find if there's any more storage anywhere. We have a power port down there, um, and an armrest that, uh, I don't know if this is adjustable, it should be somehow, but yeah, very nice, comfortable padded armrest, and as you can see, we have a very fancy screen in front of the windows. <laughs> this is what it looks like when I look out, so when I'm sitting in my seat, I do not see anyone else, although I do feel like if there were people all across, because we can see the entire row here, it's definitely not the most private first class product. Although I will say, I think this is more private than Lufthansa first class just because of this kind of head protection area. Also, sometimes I feel like mood lighting is over the top, but I love this mood lighting. I think it makes the cabin look really classy and modern despite being on quite an old aircraft. 
This plane is 20 years old. It's weird to think it's been flying this long and they still managed to keep it in such good shape. Okay, you ready to see what's in here? I am. Okay, okay, and here are all the contents put out. We have a bunch of cool uh, toiletry products from Refinery, including a mini deodorant stick, which is cute. Eye mask, earplugs, comb, shaving uh, razor, socks, and this iconic pen. I love this. Um, I'm gonna use this when writing my exams. People will be like, wait, what's going on? Actually, just kidding, my school doesn't have exams. This is the contents. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I love British Airways safety videos, and we're pushing back 15 minutes early. Check it out, British Airways serves Arabic coffee with these beautiful dates in first class. Qatar, Oman Air, British Airways is coming for your game. These dates are filled with nuts. They're even more delicious than usual. Wow. One thing that's always so fun when flying British Airways is that the pilots are always such av geeks. They're just excited to fly as we are. So today the pilot was like, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Boeing 747-400 Queen of the Skies. Oh, it's just so fun. And also check this out. British Airways has an in-flight magazine just for first class for the luxury traveler. I'm like, is that me? Okay, let's also have a look at the menu. Cute little flying boy on the cover. <laughs> um, welcome to Fast. Sorry, my British accent. I can't, can you believe I used to have a British accent when I was little and now it's just been completely butchered and I cannot copy it for the life of me. Here are the drinks. Love smoothies on planes. And our main course selections. One thing that's still unclear to me is whether or not British Airways has dine on demand. So I'll have to try to find out about that. All right, since we have the time anyway, let's look through British Airways high life entertainment. And I just had this thought because so many celebrities live in the UK or fly back and forth to the UK, so British Airways must really be one of the most celeb-heavy airlines. So it's very interesting to see what type of experience celebrities are getting when they're flying in first class with BA. But um, yeah, this is a super responsive system. I love that it's so fast and responding to my gestures. No way! Oh my! What? This system is amazing you guys okay what is going on all these shows I like all the tacky non first class shows but that's me it's just an economy boy in a first class seat y'all <laughs> um, okay what I had no idea British Airways still had such a good entertainment system. This is actually really impressive, you guys. Okay, so I don't really have a bucket list, but I was sitting here and thinking, if I did, this would kind of be a bucket list thing, because if you think about it, like I grew up in the UK, British Airways was so iconic to me. You know, you always played with model planes. British Airways is a big deal in the UK. Whether you like it or not, you know about it. But I feel like even though British Airways isn't quite as iconic as it once was, it still is one of the world's most known and respected airlines and it's so cool to be here in the nose of their 747 queen of the skies which luckily will be around for a few more years and surprisingly 
It's really silent up here, even on the Dash 400, which is much older. It's meal time already, so uh, let me just pause my movie. I'm watching Ocean's Eat. So I decided to have my pre-landing refreshment now so I can have the bigger breakfast meal before landing because I'm not super hungry. As you can see, we have this really nice looking fruit salad and these little uh, afternoon tea style sandwiches. They seem to have chickpeas and some nice ingredients in them, so it's a little more creative than uh, perhaps what I've seen on other airlines, so I like that. And I have some absolutely delicious orange juice, uh, freshly squeezed with pulp, so really, really delicious. And now, I couldn't be on British Airways without having a cup of post-breakfast tea. Time for some fashion. All right, you guys, it's time for some sweet dreams in British Airways first class. The flight attendant was so sweet. I asked, went to the galley and asked if she could make my bed. She was like, of course, of course, of course. So then I went to the bathroom, changed my pajamas, and when I came out, she's like, okay, so I thought the pillows looked a little bit flat. So I gave you three pillows, but there are more in the overhead lockers if you'd like. I'm just really picky with my pillows. So I wanted to make sure you got something very comfortable. So sweet. It's time for me to take about an hour and a 20 minute nap. Uh, the crew have been really nice and said they'll wake me up an hour and a half before landing so that I can have the full meal service in time for arrival in Heathrow. But before I sleep, I just wanted to say the crew on this flight, oh my god, there's two women here in first class and the purser have been absolutely amazing. Probably one of my top crews ever, which to be honest, I really didn't expect, but they have been so sweet, really gone out of their way to make it an amazing flight. Um, and they've done this for everyone. They didn't even see me recording until I was doing my hate comments video. Honestly, I did not expect this. And I'm, I, I love when British hospitality is at its best. It's amazing. And that's what I've got to experience today. Probably it won't be like this on all British Airways flights because I have heard they're inconsistent. But on today's flight, I really, really lucked out. So, good night. continental Europe now it looks terrifyingly cold now that I've lived spent two winters in a row in hot climates I'm officially not a winter person here is one more look around the cabin British Airways has five rows on the side here and two in the center so honestly it's an insanely dense first class configuration uh, if you're gonna sit as a couple, you definitely want to sit here on row 5, because as you can see, it's much more exposed in row 4. But this would be my personal preference here at the very back in my cozy bed. Are you ready to see the breakfast? It's time for literal breakfast in bed. <laughs> Check it out. We have a beautiful English breakfast. We have some hash browns, baked beans, which I love baked beans so much. I have it all the time some nice potatoes and mushrooms. What better to eat on British Airways? Also got some toast. And finally, some fruit for dessert. I wrote a little feedback form for the crew because they've been so, so good. And check out what I'm watching now. All right, guys, we have started our approach. We've entered the usual holding pattern into Heathrow. Apparently, the weather is crazy down there, making the holds even longer. They said the winds are 40 miles an hour or 34 knots, which is really, really strong. So this is when it sucks to be in first class low because I can't see the wing. And when you're coming in in like a really stormy weather, it's so fun to see all the wing movements and how the pilots are fighting it. But I guess this is an okay trade-off. I'm fine with it. <sighs> the sacrifices I have to make, you guys. No, but in all seriousness, I thought I would give a few concluding thoughts now. I'm going to give my full conclusion once we've landed, but I wanted to say an analogy I've been thinking of. You saw I did have 
a really, really good fight. I really liked it. Every aspect of it was good. Uh, but I think there are, just as there are differences in designer, there are differences between airline first class products. Maybe I'm not totally accurate in this comparison, but I would say that uh, like British Airways is to first class, kind of what Michael Kors is to designer brands. So it's still a really high quality, nice designer product, I think. But it's no Hermes, it's no Chanel, it's not really on that level where you'd find maybe Singapore Airlines, but it's still a really, really high quality, nice thing, and it is designer. We're not talking about uh, Urban Outfitters or H&M or anything. We are talking about a really luxurious, really nice product that people still aspire to, to fly, and I would very, very happily fly again. It's just, it's not quite in the same league. Having said that, I do still think I had a fantastic flight. It was better than anything I would really expect in business class, from the bedding to just the privacy of the seat is really great, even though there's no door. This has been one of the best flights of my life, service-wise. I'll tell you a little bit more once we land, because I don't want to give it all away now. Should be an exciting approach. I'll show you out the window as much as I can, but I doubt we'll get a view of London and stuff on approach. So I'm going to go back to watching some faulty towers for now. Also, I wanted to say a special thank you to Nicola, Claire, and John for the fantastic service. an aborted landing. It's my first time ever and on a 747 and I'm totally in the right seat for this to happen where I can spend some more time. That is so cool. Okay, coming in for attempt number two. Oh, the weather really is so bad, you guys. Whoa, bumpy approach. Okay, whew, that was quite a disorganized arrival and deboarding and stuff, but I made it to London and uh, these HSBC ads just equal me throw to me. So I've had some time to reflect. What do I think about British Airways first class? I think it's an amazing way to fly. It's so comfortable, so, uh, like I had very great service. As I said, it's really nice. Also, as I said, it's far from the world's best first class product. I think British Airways first class is a great introduction to first class. Uh, again, it was a great flight. Uh, I would recommend it if it's convenient for you or you have a chance, but I wouldn't go out of my way or save up my miles just to try it when there are so many other even better products to try. Then again, this was something I had to try. I think that most people being able to fly British Airways' iconic first class, especially on the 747, is such a bucket list experience <laughs> as I feel now. Um, so yeah, I am so happy I did this. I will definitely look forward to flying British Airways first class again. In any case, thank you so much for watching, guys. Of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure you check out my other first class reviews. I recommend checking out Singapore Airlines, for example. Uh, Lufthansa, I have several first class reviews. Uh, Etihad, of course, my most popular video to see how this experience compares to those and then you can see what the differences are and really, oh my god, I just realized I didn't get a single hot towel on this flight. That is crazy, remember that? I had one Qatar review where I got like seven hot towels on one flight, but um, in any case, now I'm going to go straight into how I redeemed for this flight, how you can get the same redemption because it's a very good deal. And uh, in any case, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already so you can uh, make sure you know when my other reviews come out and see how my future flights, because I have several more first class flights coming up, how they compare to British Airways. And on that note, let me know down below how you thought the flight looked. And of course, give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out. But until I see you all next time, fly safe. This is the route where I'm going to redeem. Let's check um, all the details here. So when we search first class, we're going to select first class down here. Here's the incredible value. This flight is just under 3,000 miles, which means 
in business class, it's 31,250 miles for a seven hour flight. Keep in mind, this is off peak. So British Airways will change their prices based on if it's peak season, like summer or Christmas holidays. But generally, most states are off peak like this. And this is the price. As you can see, the fuel surcharges are moderate, but they're not as bad as other British Airways flights. So I'll show you an example soon. So that was um, Kuwait to London and then in first class. Here's the craziest value. 42,500 miles plus the same number of fuel surcharges in first class. So you're paying just about 10,000 miles extra to upgrade. All right, so in this video, I'm just gonna talk about cards that I have. There are other cards we can earn points. So the first card, and this is a limited time offer, is the American Express New Gold Card. And this card has had a huge transformation because it went from being quite mediocre to one of the best credit cards in the US, if not the world. So here you can see the public bonus is 25,000 miles after you spend $2,000 in the first three months. Then the best part is you earn four points per dollar at US restaurants, four points per dollar at US supermarkets, three points per dollar on flights booked. This includes the taxes you pay on award flights. You get a dining credit, an airline fee credit, all this stuff which really offsets the annual fee. There's no foreign transaction fee. So it is an excellent card for any of you that live in the US. As always, unfortunately, this card is only available for people who live in the US. But the best part is listen closely via your friend's referrals or my referrals if you want to be that nice and use my link you can get a 50,000 point sign up bonus so you don't get 25 if you're in sweden you can get the swedish amex gold card or platinum card i'll put the links down below for that as well you'll get a sign up bonus that's equivalent to about almost 10,000 british airways avios on the gold card and almost 20,000 british airways avios on the platinum card so that also gets you quite some good flights um, and you can really earn a lot through spending so it's definitely not hopeless if you live in sweden that is how you redeem british airways points for the best values